The 180 from what we experienced yesterday in the front making its way through the Treasure Valley right now. I got a report of some very tiny hail, maybe some grapple falling in the Meridian area. Also in Nampa, as we take a closer look, snow falling above 3000 feet, but we have some mixed precipitation here in the Treasure Valley. It's not just rain. These yellow spots here actually giving me an idea that there might be some convective elements to what's moving through, which means that it's trying to be a thunderstorm, but it's probably not going to, you know, produce any lightning or thunder but it may give us some grapple that little tiny soft hail or soft snow pellets is what they also call it uh, in a lot of communities uh, but I like to call it the precipitation type that looks like dip and dots ice cream so here's that first front this is the disturbance that wiped out that spring weather yesterday this is the storm system that made its way out of Southern California they're finally getting in on some sunshine there after some snow and here is our next system that'll drop into the region late tomorrow so you can see that the pattern stays very active and very winter like through the entire week ahead. We may get a break from the precipitation, maybe the wind as well through the middle part of the week. But I think even as we head into next weekend, we're expecting even more winter precipitation and the temperatures expected to stay colder than average. So this is great news for our snowpack, but it also may be the news that we will do some shoveling, some light shoveling here in the Treasure Valley. So running through the timeline here, maybe some quieter weather overnight into early tomorrow morning, but even during the morning commute tomorrow, can't rule out a quick snow shower or a flurry to come through. That remains the case through the day. We get some times of sun, but we also might get some times of snow up through the mountain areas. More scattered snow showers will become more widespread into the evening hours and continue overnight Monday into Tuesday, and it just keeps going from there. It's the type of forecast we really have to keep a close eye on not just day to day but morning to night because you know Idaho weather you wait five minutes and it could certainly change so the snow potential I do think that some of these numbers you're seeing here in the central part of the state are probably pretty high but this gives you a good idea of where we're uh, you're predicting snow to be through the end of day on Tuesday maybe a coating up to an inch in parts of the Treasure Valley then you get up through a mountain areas three to five inches maybe a little closer to six to seven up through some of our uh, ski areas they they already picked up some good snow through the overnight hours and through the day today. The seven day forecast for the mountain areas have taken out your percentages here. Let's just talk about how much snow we predict. Now it's tricky to say we expect this much snow when we're talking a week away, but still it's going to add up just to give you an idea of how it stays unsettled and almost each and every day through the week ahead. We're expecting some pretty likely snow showers for our mountain areas. The timeline through the overnight hours in Boise looks like we will get a little bit quieter dropping off to seasonable levels tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon about five degrees cooler than seasonal averages with highs in the Treasure Valley in the 40s but probably feeling like it's in the 30s because of the gusty wind that will be part of our forecast for tomorrow gusting up to 30 35 miles per hour at times so here's a look at the seven day forecast for the Boise area again a forecast to stay on top of you can do so on air but also online at ktvb.com Doug all right Bree thank you all